Welcome back to another video, <clears throat> guys and gals. Today, it will be a different type of video, more of a tutorial. Today, I will teach you how to set up a carp rig with a method feeder. And, yep, I hope you enjoy the video. Get your popcorn, get your paper out, get your pencil, and enjoy. So, let's start off by talking about each component. First, we have the method feeler, or AKA method lead. So this, this is very useful because it keeps the pack bait that you make intact. It keeps it tight. So if you were to use the regular weight, it would just come off, but with these, with these, uh, the spiral circle, um, this hook, basically whatever it's called, the swivel, I don't, I'm not sure, but the bait goes inside and it stays sticky, right? And then whatever's on the outside, it stays intact. The second component is a bead. You can use bigger ones, you can use a smaller one, it doesn't matter. You just wanna stop the method feeder from hitting the hook, basically. For the third component, we have a small hook. Usually, you can go even smaller than this, but this is a pretty good size for the bigger carps. Um, from 20 pounds to 50 pounds it's a good it's a good size hook basically just because of how their mouth is shaped for the fourth component we have a metal swivel you can use a smaller one you can use a bigger one size doesn't matter here for the last component we have a foot worth of braided line you can use any line but i just personally i like to use braided line so this is the line from the fishing pole. To start off, you want to basically run the line through the method feeder. Sometimes I struggle, and you might struggle too with this method feeder. But a hack that I have, I usually like to cut this around right there, just so the line goes in easier. In this instance, since I have a new pole and it's brand new line, I didn't have to cut it right there. But in future reference, if you start fishing with your pole, if your metal, if your sub, uh, if your method feeder gets stuck, snagged, you'll probably need to cut that most likely. But the next step we have is to get the bead that we talked about earlier. You want to run the line through the bead. The reason why we needed the bead is because we're about to connect the metal swivel. If you can see, if that metal if the the bead wasn't there, the metal feeder would just go directly to the swivel. Can you still fish for carp like this? Yes. Is it the best way? No. Okay. Once you run the line through one of the holes from the metal swivel, you'll want to tie it. Typically, I like to do a normal, normal simple tie. I'm not the best person at tying. There's more methods on tying line, but this is very effective, very simple. And yeah, if it's easy, I'll do it. Well, I mean, if it's fish, if it's easy and effective, which this does. I'm not sure how many times I just wrapped it around the line, probably six or seven, but now we'll run it through the, circ the, the loop that we created with our line and we'll tie it, just like that. With the extra line that we cut, about a foot, you want to run it through the hole, through the other, through the other hole, and again, you want to tie it right there. Now that we tie the other end, you want to get the end of the, the line and then tie it around the hook. Just like that. Simple tie, doesn't have to be di difficult. Yeah. 
excuse me for my sausage fingers I get that a lot a lot of people tell me I have sausage fingers um, no can't do anything about that yeah okay that's tired right there looking good see we'll we'll cut this we'll cut the extra because this is too much extra line and that's how you set up my carp rig that, this is my favorite rig I catch a lot of carp and you'll see for proof I'll show a clip of me catching a fish with this rig but yeah let me explain a little bit more about the rig before I get to that clip about fishing okay going back to my my whole setup so the idea behind this setup is you throw it right with your pack bait and if you don't know what I mean about pack bait go check out my other video I posted it before this video and you'll see what I mean by pack bait but you throw this out right it lands in the water you have a big chunk of bait right ideally you'll have the drag loose on your fishing pole and because we have this this bead basically and on this swivel and on this hook a fish a carp will come come from on top basically they're bottom feeders, so their mouth points downwards. If you fish for grass carp, their mouth is not downwards, but they're usually at the bottom also. So common carp, most likely, will come from top, and the hook will be set up around like this, right? On top of the pack bait. Fish will come. He sees the bait, right? He doesn't see the hook, it'll be it'll be lost in the whole bait the pack bait so he come he'll be munching on the pack bait around this method feeder and then eventually he's going to somehow get this hook inside his mouth and he won't notice it once he feels it a little bit he'll take the line you see so basically the pole won't bend before before right at the moment he bites basically just because you have that slack which is perfect you want that fish to take the line and once there's a little bit of tension you know that hook is on the fish pretty well the only job you have is basically to set the hook even harder and that's the that's how the setup works basically it's not the i wouldn't say it's the only way to set up for carp rigs but this is very simple very easy I use it all the time. I, I actually learned this this whole rig, learned about this rig in Iowa. I fished for a lot of carp out there during the winters. Fishing was very bad, and I wanted the I wanted to attract the I wanted to attract the carps even more, and this worked perfectly well. Then I came down to Texas, you know, hot hotter weather, you know, the water's more hotter. Typically, fishes don't, you know, they they're not in basically they're not in the shallow parts of the water and yet again i proved it you can check my playlist out for carp that's how this setup works um, i hope you enjoyed the video i'll show i'll show a clip of me catching the fish just so you can see as proof that this setup works yeah hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned oh my bucket fell my bucket fell oh Oh man, oh. my bucket fell everybody, oh wow, that was quick, that was very quick, my bucket fell, my, my pole almost got into the water, wow,
Hopefully it's not a Perfect bait. Land of fish. This is why you should use my carp rig. There you go. It's not a big one, but it's perfect for bait, and that's what I need for my. I'm not sure my next video or my third video. I'm not sure, but you'll see this fish being used as bait. But yeah, that's a simple carp rig. It's very, it's affordable. It's not too bad. It's easy, and it catches fish. Most importantly. So, I want you to go like, comment on this video, subscribe, of course. I have a whole playlist on carp fishing, and that it's proof that I can catch carp, basically. It's just not luck. So, check that out. Thank you for watching the video. Fish on, everybody.